Hi Bulldogs, this is Mrs. Baines. I'm going to read you a story today that some of you might be familiar with. It's by John Lithgow. It's called Marsupial Sue Presents the Runaway Pancake, illustrated by Jack E. Davis. Now children, listen carefully. You must never, ever, ever cook a pancake in a hot oven, and my story will tell you why. This is the story of the runaway pancake. It begins with Auntie May, who decided to cook a pancake for her lunch one day. She went into her pantry and took out everything she needed to make a big round pancake. She took out the flour and eggs, butter and milk. She mixed the ingredients in a bowl, big bowl, poured the batter into a patty cake pan, and put the pan into the hot oven. While her pancake cooked, Annie May did her household chores. She dusted, she swept, and she vacuumed the living room. When she turned off her vacuum cleaner, she heard a muffled sound coming from her kitchen. It was coming out of her oven. It sounded like this. Hey, hey, let me out of here, let me out of here. Annie Mae grasped the handle of the oven door, opened it just this much, and bang, out jumped the runaway pancake. The runaway pancake had two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. He wore a naughty expression on his face. He rolled across the kitchen floor, across the living room floor, out of the front door, across the front yard, and out of the front gate, and off down the road. Annie Mae chased after him, shouting, Come back! Come back! You're my lunch! The runaway pancake answered her with a little song. He sang, No, 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 no. I'm too fast, you're too slow. Pan, pan, patty cake pan. I can get away from you, I can. And he rolled along, rolled along, with Annie Mae chasing after him. Pretty soon he came to an old dog named Trey lying by the road and chewing on a bone. Old dog Trey looked up at the pancake and said, Mmm, pancakes go good with bones. You're gonna be my lunch. And the pancake sang, no, 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 I'm too fast, you're too slow. Pan, pan, patty cake pan, I got away from Annie Mae. I can get away from you, I can. And he rolled along, rolled along with Annie Mae and old dog Trey chasing after him. Pretty soon he came to a cow standing in a hayfield chewing on her cud. The cow looked at the pancake and said, Moo, pancakes go good with cud. You're going to be my lunch. And the pancake sang, No, 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 no. I'm too fast. You're too slow. Pan, pan, patty cake pan. I got away from Annie Mae. I got away from old dog Trey. I can get away from you, I can. And he rolled along, rolled along, with Annie Mae, old dog Trey, and now the cow chasing after him. Pretty soon he came to a donkey in the tall green grass. The donkey looked at the pancake and brayed out, hee-haw, hee-haw, pancakes go good with grass, you're going to be my lunch. And the pancake sang, no, 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 I'm too fast, you're too slow, pan, pan, patty cake pan. I got away from Annie Mae. I got away from old dog Trey. I got away from the cow in the hay. I can get away from you, I can. And he rolled along, rolled along with Annie Mae, old dog Trey, the cow, and now the donkey chasing after him. Pretty soon he came to an old gray wolf. The wolf looked at the pancake, licked, licked his chops, and said, smack, smack. Pancakes go good with chops. You're going to be my lunch. And what did the pancake say? No, 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 no. I'm too fast. You're too slow. Pan, pan, patty cake pan. I got away from Annie Mae. I got away from old dog Trey. I got away from the cow in the hay. I got away from the donkey's bray. I can get away from you, I can. And he rolled along, rolled along with Annie Mae, old dog Trey, the cow, the donkey, and now the wolf chasing after him.
Pretty soon he came to a big brown bear sitting by a honeybee hive, licking honey off of his big brown paws. The bear looked at the pancake and said, Grrr, pancakes go good with honey. You're going to be my lunch. He was right about the honey, but he was wrong about the lunch because the pancake sang, No, 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 no. I'm too fast. You're too slow. Pan, pan, patty cake pan. I got away from Annie Mae. I got away from old dog tray. I got away from the cow in the hay. I got away from the donkey's prey. I got away from the wolf all gray. I can get away from you, I can. And he rolled along, rolled along with Annie Mae, old dog tray, the cow, the donkey, the wolf, and now the bear chasing after him. He rolled along, rolled along. Pretty soon, he came to a big hill. He started to roll up the hill. Pretty soon, he came to a big oak tree beside the road. And lying in the shade of that big oak tree, taking it easy on that hot afternoon, was the sly old red fox. The pancake rolled to a stop and caught his breath. He looked at the fox and the fox eyeballed the pancake. Then the fox smiled and said, you're going to be my lunch. The pancake threw back his head, laughed heartily and sang, no, 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 I'm too fast, you're too slow. Pan, pan, patty cake pan, I got away from Annie Mae. I got away from old dog tray. I got away from the cow in the hay. I got away from the donkey's bray. I got away from the wolf fall gray. I even got away from a bear today. I can get away from you, I can. And the fox said, I beg your pardon. Once again, the pancake sang, no, 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 no. I'm too fast. You're too slow. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, pancake, interrupted the fox. As you may know, foxes are a trifle hard of hearing. Perhaps if you roll a little closer and sing a little louder, I might better grasp your meaning. And the pancake rolled to within one yard of the fox's snout. And the little louder he sang, no, 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 I'm too fast. You're too... Uh, I'm sorry, pancake dear, said the fox. I still can't hear you. If you roll a little closer and sing a little louder, I might better decipher your declamation. So the pancake rolled to within one foot of the fox's snout, and even louder he sang, No, 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 I'm too fast, you're... Sorry, Pancake Darling, said the fox. I still can't hear you. If you roll a little closer and sing a little louder, I might better apprehend your expostulation. So the pancake rolled within one inch of the fox's snout, and as loud as he could, he sang, No, 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 I'm too... And grunch... The fox ate the pancake with one enormous gulp, and you'd think that was the end of the story, wouldn't you? Well, it isn't, because the fox looked up, and what do you think he saw? He saw Annie Mae, old dog Trey, the cow, the donkey, the wolf, and the bear standing over him, hungry and tired and panting and sweating in the hot afternoon sun. They were so angry at the fox for eating their lunch that they chased him out of the forest and he was never seen or heard from again. And you'd think that was the end of the story, wouldn't you? Well, it isn't. Because if you listen closely to the fox's tummy, you could still hear the runaway pancake. Because the fox had swallowed him whole, you see. The pancake was still singing his song, but it sounded different now. It was sad and slow song, not nearly so cocky, not nearly so arrogant. The words were different, too. This time, the pancake sang, Dear, dear, 
Dear, dear, dear, I am eaten up by fear. I ran and I ran as fast as could be. I got away from Annie Mae. I got away from old dog Trey. I got away from the cow and the hay. I got away from the donkey's bray. I got away from the wolf all gray. Even got away from a bear today. But that sly old fox was the end of me. And you'd think that was the end of the story, wouldn't you? Well, it is. Bulldogs, I hope you enjoyed my story. I'll be back soon to read you another one. Bye.